guys, what's up, bro here? I look like I'm kind of naked because my hair keeps covering my shirt. Um, I'm about to cook some dinner, and I've had requests for more cooking videos, um, and showing you guys kind of what stuff I make in vlogs, so we're going to make some food. Uh, we'll be making a chicken teriyaki, and it's a recipe that I've had from my, like, my mom's made it ever since I was really little. I think she got it from somebody else. I don't know who, but super easy to make and super delicious, so let's make some food. So the main things that you'll need are chicken, it's chicken, some soy sauce, I just use the lower sodium kind, some sort of rice, carrot syrup, cornstarch, and then if you want to add vegetables to it, I usually add broccoli and carrots. You can always add onions, peppers, whatever you want, but this is kind of what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the chicken and we'll start on that. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and mix the sauce and then just add to it later to the chicken. So you're going to need one cup of water. Fill it everywhere. One cup water, and then two tablespoons of cornstarch. This is just the cornstarch that I have. And two tablespoons. So one, two. This will create like a thickener for it. I usually kind of zhoosh that in there just to get the rest of it off. Just set that in there. And then you just want to whisk it together. I don't have a whisk, so I'm just going to use this fork. You just want to make sure it's all mixed together and doesn't have any lumps. So that feels good. So I'm going to use soy sauce. I just use low sodium kikaman. Use whatever you prefer. And you'll need half a cup of that. That sounds really weird. I thought I bought extra. It looks like this might actually be exactly half a cup that I have left. What are the odds of that? Alright, so half a cup of that. Remove Mr. Fork. And then half a cup of Karo syrup. You want to get it in the dark because the sauce is dark, so it's easier. I usually add a few drops extra. Even though it kind of leaks over because it's kind of hard to get out. It kind of sticks. So I usually just use whatever I'm stirring with to scrape it. And then you just want to mix all of this together. And the sauce will thicken and darken when you actually cook it. So we're just going to set this aside and use this later. I'm going to go ahead and start the rice. This is just the rice that I buy. Um, when I make something like this, um, sometimes you can just use 5 minute rice. I don't have a rice cooker though, so I'm doing it on the stove. It takes about 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and start it now so it's ready by the time the chicken and everything is ready. I also went ahead and diced up the chicken. Um, bite sized pieces, basically all you need to do. And nothing super fancy. And then this is the pan that we're going to use to cook the chicken. And then we have the rice water boiling. So I have about a tablespoon of oil in the pan. I'm going to have to add the chicken, although I don't think it's hot enough yet. But that's okay. I have it on medium-high heat currently, just to heat it up, and then I'm going to turn it up more. And I always wash my hands after I handle chicken, but you know, you do you. I'm going to add pepper. And just a little bit of salt, you don't need too much because the soy sauce has salt in it already. And then I like to add just a little bit of garlic salt. I'm going to put some on the sides. I said a little, that was kind of a lot. <laughs> Whatever. So now the pan's heated a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can even actually hear me, but just cook the chicken. Uh, when it gets cooked a good amount, I'm going to go ahead and add the carrots. Now the broccoli that I actually bought um, heats in a microwave, so I'm going to heat it up and then just add it straight to this. You could obviously use regular broccoli, and I usually boil it and then add it. I feel like otherwise it takes a while. <laughs> so we're just going to cook Mr. Chicken. Mrs. Chicken, because it's not a turkey. Anyway. And, yeah. Just basically watch it. Have it on about medium heat. Alright, so the chicken's cooked enough, then I'm going to go ahead and add the carrots. I basically just wanted the outsides to be white. Um, I currently have the microwave running in the background, cooking the broccoli. So, here we go. 
So you basically just want to cook this until the chicken's cooked thoroughly and the carrots are the tenderness that you want them to. I like mine to still have a little bit of a bite to them. Alright, so the chicken and carrots are done, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer them to just a plate, and then we're going to start on the sauce. Alright, so you want to make sure it's about a medium-high heat. You just need to really keep an eye on it. So you might have to stir the sauce first. We just want to go ahead and pour it right in. And we want to bring this up to a boil. So you notice the sauce starts to have this weird look to it, and it's going to start um, darkening, but we want it to boil a little bit first. But you really just need to keep an eye on it, because it can go bad very quickly. I don't know if you guys can really see it with the camera, but in the corner there's like the dark starting to form, which is good, that's what we want. Goodness, it is freaking steamy. So now it's about the color that we want. Um, I'm going to give it another minute or two, and then I'll be adding the chicken, the broccoli, and the carrots all to the sauce. And this is usually about enough for three to four servings. It really depends on how much chicken you do. As you saw, I did two chicken breasts, which is about usually what I do to either big ones or three small ones or whatever. But I'm going to let it bubble up a little bit more and then we'll add the chicken. So we're going to go ahead and add everything back to it. Um, just very slowly. There's still some of the liquid from the chicken in here so I don't really want that in there. Be careful when you add it back because chicken shouldn't really be hot anymore, but the sauce probably is, so you don't want to like splash. And then we're also going to add the broccoli. So, again, I just cooked mine in the microwave as per the instructions, and then I kind of just took a fork to it and kind of made it smaller pieces for some of them. And my boyfriend doesn't really like broccoli, so I'm not going to add the whole thing. But that looks good. And then any pieces that are big you can kind of cut. Now you want to make sure everything is covered by the sauce. I'm going to bring this up to a little over medium, um, just to heat it up a little bit more. And basically, if there's anything else that you want to add to it, um, pineapple is also really good in this, and if you like onions, you can add onions. I personally don't, but you do you. So we're just going to let this cook for a few more minutes. Alright, so it's back to boiling, so I'm going to turn it down to medium-low, low-medium, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have it on like three, two and a half, three. I think we'll do two and a half. And you just want this to sit for a little bit just for everything to kind of mingle with the sauce and be delicious and tasty. And then we'll be back. That was supposed to be a thumbs up, but I kind of missed. All right, so here is the finished product. Yeah, I just put it on a bed of rice and that's pretty much it. Um, this is what the reminiscence of the pan looks like. <laughs> but this also, Tastes really good reheated, so if you have leftovers, you know, enjoy them because it's delicious. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to eat my yummy food and then probably work on some gameplay footage and some other videos. But I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll catch you later. Bye. Oh, and if you have any questions about this recipe, please let me know and I will try and help you the best I can. Okay, bye.